Today I have a $642 Amazon.com full MSRP home goods palette. So what could be on this with home goods? There could be some kitchen stuff. There could be even like bedroom stuff. It could be like bed and bath. But uh, with home goods, it's kind of just like, uh, it can actually end up being a hodgepodge of a little bit of everything. So MSR, MSRP on this was only $642. It was much, much cheaper liquidation than what I usually purchase, but I got this for such an insanely cheap price. I got them liquidated price for 55 bucks. So wouldn't you spend $55? on goods that are worth 642 bucks of course a lot of this will be used some could be damaged some could be totally salvaged but even if half of this stuff is in good condition i 55 bucks is a no-brainer so this is going to be a little bit of a different kind of what you usually see on this channel usually you know i try to keep price points you know way above a thousand i try to push closer to two thousand if possible but I mean, for $55, seriously, that is cheap. And that included everything. I mean, that included buyer's premium. That included any taxes I had to pay. So uh, with these two boxes, there's probably not going to be a whole lot of stuff in it for $642. But hopefully, I mean, I'm going to make money no matter what on this. So um, first box opening this thing up and first thing on top is some kind of a backpack or a book bag or something Let's see what is this hmm I don't see a brand up oh, here it is it's called kindred kindred packing company so it looks to be a really nice bag. It has a, oh, this one is a toiletries bag that goes with this. Open this thing up, see what it looks like inside. Yeah, it still has that new smell. It doesn't have, you know, a used kind of dirty underwear smell to it. Inside the bag, this is actually really nice. Just like a small little travel bag with a matching toiletries accessory. So that's actually nice. I don't know much about this brand, Kindred. So I don't even know if this is worth 20 bucks, 30 bucks. Maybe it's worth 55 bucks when I pay for this whole palette. I really don't know, but I have to research this. And of course, a lot of these items I'll update down below the actual price of what I will try to sell it for. But yeah, Kindred is the brand, Kindred Packing Company. Exploring equipment. It's nice. This is leather straps and kind of like a vinyl bag. Okay, first item. That's a good item. That should sell. I mean, on eBay. Probably pretty easily. Okay, we got looks like some kind of a clothes item. So yeah, I think we we're gonna have a hodgepodge palette here. Oh, I just tore it. Here's some oh it's custom seat covers for a vehicle. Oh, well, that goes over the headrest. Here's your seat covers. Looks like it's just black seat cover with some gray highlights to it. They don't look used. Probably a person bought these from Amazon. Probably didn't fit their vehicle, so they just returned them. The brand is, Airbag is the brand. I don't know much about that brand. I don't really deal much in liquidated uh, auto supplies and auto items. Just not my expertise. But yeah, this has enough for the two front seats and then a big back seat like a bench. So I have to look this thing up, research this more, and update down below if I can find pricing on this item. Uh, so yeah, interesting two things so far. Items that I normally don't purchase, I'm getting in this uh, hodgepodge type of palette. Trip LVR. Oh, so this, this, oh, this is for a toilet. 
a toilet part. Still factory sealed too. So we got a toilet part. Brand is called Toto. Toto, T-O-T-O. -T -O, a toilet mechanism. And the wife is texting me. So a, pull, a toilet part. We have a hay and food bin feeder for like a gerbil or something. So, so far we've got kind of like a sporting traveling bag, auto covers, toilet part, a pet feeder. So yeah, we got a hodgepodge here. That's why I say whenever you see a pallet that says home goods on it and it was liquidated by Amazon, there's a good, good possibility that it could end up being a hodgepodge yeah, pretty quickly. So this person wrote cracked and chipped pineapples. So the customer who returned this actually wrote on there what was wrong with it before they returned it. So this is Amazon.com branded. The little ceramic, it has little ceramic bowls in it. Chipped and cracked. I'll have to take these things out later. Especially if there's loose glass in there, I'm going to be careful uh, not to get cut. But yeah, I mean, if, if that thing's just totally just trash then you know you'll be trash oh, what are you this is a big hunk of plastic oh here it is here it is here's the instruction manual this is the senses cat oh it's a cat toy but I mean, it's an absolute piece. There's kind of like a picture of it. I'm not sure if you can even really see it on camera. But it's like a cat toy, a little lounger. Has little uh, scratching, like side pieces where they can like scratch themselves with it. <laughs> I'm going to have to set that thing up, figure that thing out. We got some clothes here. It looks like I see the logo for Oklahoma City at Thunder on these. It'd be nice if they're my size. They look kind of big, actually. 2XL. I take a 3X, but uh, these actually might fit me. They look like a big 2X. That's guy's kind of cool. OKC on the left leg. Down the right leg says Thunder. Um, I don't know if they're new or used though, but actually they're pretty nice. Uh, if these things fit me, I'll be keeping these. Those will not be sold if they fit me. If. No guarantees they're going to fit. See next, man. We got hodgepodge. So here we just have a like a throw uh, blanket, a throw cover. You throw on like I can talk. Your ugh, can't talk. Throw on the back of your couch. Gray in pattern with white designs on it. I think I've actually seen this before in past palettes. But yeah, so stuff like this is great for local sales. I wouldn't sell something like this online just because. Uh, used open package items like that just don't sell well oh i think we have a beanie yes we have a a beanie that covers your ears it has no oh the brand is home prefer 100 percent acrylic hat that covers your ears different yeah, not bad. It's kind of nice. So, okay. Don't know how much that's actually really going to sell for. Something like that is actually like a fantastic, like a donate kind of an item. It, you know. And then we have more clothes. All these bags have already been opened up by somebody. Oh, there's a note on it that says, Worn and Stinks of B.O. I think it had time to air out, if that's what it actually did. I don't smell any, but I'm just not. I'm not going to chance it. But worn and stinks of BL. Let me just put this right back into this box, just in case. The last item in this first box, we've got a huge cooking sheet. Brand is the Baking Experts CM. The Baking Experts. Just a really big cookie sheet. 
I'm not sure why it got liquidated. I think this, this edge here might've got bent in a little bit, probably during uh, storage at the Amazon warehouse, but it's still very, very sellable. You know, that can be sold pretty easily. So let me box up everything right here and we'll get down to the second box. Next box. Let's see if we got any goodies in this one. Some really big right on. Is that a freaking microwave? Some really big right on top. Nope, we've got a toaster oven. That's very random. So yeah, home goods. I mean, what what it can be is like kitchen stuff like this. Actually, looks like a pretty nice toaster oven. Brand is Hamilton Beach. I know I've sold lots of toaster ovens in the past. I, I actually used to buy them, uh, buy them in bulk, like kind of wholesale. This is model type 064, model number 31401. Let me look this thing up. Okay, it sells for like 25 bucks new, so open box item, something like this. Locally, it's like 15 bucks, you know? Just put it like on Facebook Marketplace or someplace like that. It'll sell. So next we have another Toto. Toto, T-O-T-O. -T -O, pressure balance valve. I don't know much about this kind of stuff. I don't normally buy this kind of stuff. Do you even know like value of this thing? But yeah. TSPTR Toto Pressure Water Valve. I'll have to open this thing up, get a little bit of a closer look, see if there's anything nasty with it, or you, you just never know. So, okay, there's that item. Next. Oh, cool. Next garage. Open, close, and monitor your garage door or gate from anywhere. That's one of those fancy things. It's actually still factory seal too. Hmm. Let me look this thing up. Right now I'm just looking at eBay prices and I'm seeing like uh, open box items, like new open box or just brand new, selling for like 35 plus shipping, 35, 50, uh, 39. There's a used one. Looks like used are like 25 new or new open box, like 35 to 40. So, uh, looks like the factory seal, this thing is still on here. So eBay prices, you know, it's like 35 bucks. So that's not a bad item right there. I'll take that. Let's see. Azul. Some kind of a fancy board game. Pick the tiles of the same color from any factory display or from the general offer. I have no clue with this what game this is. I've never heard of Azul. Some of these fancy games can actually get kind of pricey, like these specialty games. And uh, I've had some in the past that blew my mind when I found out prices on these things. So let's find out. Okay, so sales new on eBay between 25, 30 bucks new. This is obviously open box item because it's been taped shut with uh, like packing tape. So if it sells new, like eBay between 25 and 30 bucks, you know, used 15, uh, yeah, I'll try to sell it. So here we go. Next we have Arcos. So yeah, this one was a true uh, hodgepodge palette. Whoa, we've got a knife in this one. Still factory seal too. Some Fancy, what would you use this for? I don't even know. Some kind of filet, I guess. Barcode's on the back of it. Let me scan this barcode really quick. I can find out prices on it. I usually don't get too many knives in Amazon liquidations because it seems like they usually don't liquidate knives a whole lot. And whenever I get something like this, I am stumped on prices. So, okay, so this is a Arcos Niza Spanish Flexible Slicing Ham Knife. It's for ham. Sells new on Amazon for 18 bucks. 
So 10 inch flexible ham knife combined, specially designed for slicing very thin slices of Spanish ham. So it sells me for 18 bucks. I got it brand new in the package, you know, so I'll, I'll try to get like 15 out of it if I can. You know, if I can't, I'll mark it down to 10 bucks, you know? Everything here is sellable. Everything will sell over time. So next we got a six cup rice cooker. I used to get a bunch of these in liquidation pallets. They've slowed down a lot. Of course, I haven't really been buying a whole lot of hodgepodge pallets because two of my local liquidators haven't really been selling too many hodgepodge or home goods pallets in the past couple months. It's been very spotty. And uh, yeah, it's, it's getting harder. Of course, this is post Christmas now, so Amazon's gonna be flooded with probably a billion returns. So if you're trying to find some specialty pallet like a home goods pallet, you're gonna find it now because it's post Christmas and the liquidation business is gonna be booming for a couple months from all the Christmas returns. And a very large portion of Christmas returns are still factory sealed brand new. Like I love post Christmas time for liquidations because you get so much brand new stuff. In 2019, the beginning of 2019, I got so many brand new Lego sets. It was insane. Almost every pallet, there was multiple brand new Lego sets. I've never seen anything like that before. Like you buy a pallet, I would get a dozen Lego sets. So hopefully it happens again here post Christmas where I get flooded with really good like Lego sets and brand new items again. Hopefully it happens and it should. But here is actually the last item, box number two, the last item in the entire pallet. Looks like... This, what, is this a picture frame in this palette on something else that is completely different than everything else? So it's brand new, looks like. It's a Primitives by Kathy is the brand. There's a piece of wood stuck inside the frame. I do not know what the significance is whatsoever. Let me scan this barcode, see what it says about it on Amazon, get a little more information. Okay, so this is the Printers by Kathy Wonderlust Box Sign. Oh, it's it looks like it was supposed to be the state of Pennsylvania, but Pennsylvania is missing, so it broke off. So it was supposed to be an eight by five times six inch Pennsylvania Wonderlust Wonder Lux box sign. Sells new for $13. But obviously this thing is damaged. You could repurpose this for something else. You could probably just take something and wood glue it inside of this to make it to like another kind of a cool box, um, like a shadow box. So you could repurpose this um, somehow. You know, I'll probably, I don't know how I'm, I'm, I'm gonna sell this thing exactly because I'll figure it out. Even if I get five bucks out of it, that'll be fantastic. I mean, it's still, it's in good shape, just the state of Pennsylvania broke off. So that's what we got for this pallet. So the total MSRP was $642, if I remember correctly. I wrote it down on top of the box. One of these boxes. Yeah, $642. So yeah, $642. Bucks. And uh, I only paid $55. Bucks. I've got a lot more value here than $55. So I wouldn't be shocked if I sold everything here for even... $300 maybe. So I'd say if it's full price 642, the actual liquidated value of everything after you take off for damage and used is easily 300 bucks. That's probably the actual value of this. So getting it for 55 bucks, it's going to be some easy profit. A lot of these items could be some sell slower or slow sellers, um, you know, stuff like this, but everything will sell over time just with a little bit of patience and kind of diversify your selling platforms online and in person, and you'll sell everything quickly. So that's what we got this time. I'll see you next time with another liquidation palette, and I'm out.